I told you in one of my videos that everything God made is beautiful. It's incredible, beautiful. It is us, the humans, who go and change things here and there, mix this with that, and we spoil things. But everything that God made, hmm, it's just incredibly beautiful. Welcome to my channel. Today we have rabbit urine here. And I'm going to show you how you're going to use this rabbit urine and make a pesticide for these beautiful tomatoes you're seeing here. These are my beautiful tomatoes and we are maintaining them purely in organic way and it's what we are going to have a look at. I'm Christine, the principal farmer, the real life coach and the path to your smiling destination because I always tell you a hungry person is always an angry one. Whenever you see me around, I'm here to pave ways, to bring you ways, the cheapest ways, the easiest, the quickest and best me methods of farming anybody can use out there and you have food on the table. So today what do we have? We have rabbit urine as I've shown you. Uh, right here I have vegetable cooking oil. Then right here I have ash. And I made for you a video why I don't pour any ash at the farm here. So today those are the things we are going to mix with some kind of garlic and we make a pesticide. So this is how we do it. No wasting time. First thing first, I have a container here. When you look at it properly, it has some holes. This container here, we are going to use it to get some ash and we get some water. We mix in this ash here. The liquid that will come out will help us to make this pesticide to come out the way it should. So we press this ash together down we fasten it, we make it a bit hard in the container. Then after doing that, we shall add some water. This is pure water. So this water here, after some few minutes, it will start dripping through these holes. It will start dripping through these holes. Then you put it in another container such that you collect the solution that you want to use. I've already collected some and it's just going to be enough for this video. So that is ingredient number one and we are already done with its mixing. So what are we going to do? We shall need 20 mils, 20 milliliters of rabbit urine. This is rabbit urine I've already shown you. I get it from one of my fellow farmer. Some of you have seen this lady in one of the videos, some two videos I think, and she will still be coming back when need arises. So we want to measure 20 of this rabbit urine. I don't want to go beyond. I've marked my container. It has some two dots. The upper one is 20. The lower one is 10. So I think I need to add some little solution of rabbit urine. A little of rabbit urine. Yes, 20 mils of rabbit urine. We have a container where we are going to mix from. After getting your 20 mils, 20 mil liters of rabbit urine, we shall add that solution from ash, 20 mil liters also. 20. We put in our container. So the two solutions look like this. Rabbit urine and ash we have already put them together then ingredient number three we shall use cooking oil and this one here we shall only need 10 mils 10 mils the dot number two down or number one from down it's where we have the 10 mils 10 milliliters good 10 milliliters of vegetable cooking oil we pour in our container then after all that is done we are going to add ingredient number four the last but not the least the last but not the least which is uh garlic so this is our garlic let me just put it in this small bag here like this i wrap it a bit let me try to wrap it very well. 
Then I'll use a hammer, no wasting time. I'll use this hammer to do the grinding such that it gets soft very well and does what we need to to do. So I think I've got the mixing, the, the, I've done the pounding of my garlic. So we shall put this garlic also inside here. I think we have collected most of it to be in the container where we are going to mix from. So at this point, we have this kind of a solution and we shall add two, we shall add two cups of water making one liter. That is a half a liter. One liter. After we have done this, the solution is already here. This solution here, you can sieve it. You can get a sieve and you sieve it if you have enough time. I only wanted to show you the solution, how we mix it. Then after all that is done, after all that is done, I wouldn't have packed it without sieving it, but I didn't come with a sieve. But you sieve it. Whoever is seeing this video, I know you guys are enjoying my videos. You're watching. We are farming together. Subscribe if you haven't. And we continue doing this together. So I'll put the liquid in my sprayer. I'll use the hand sprayer. Just like this. We shall go to spraying the tomato. Like this. Like this. You can see it is just very beautiful. It is getting stuck on the tomatoes because of the cooking oil that we have used. Why do we have to put cooking oil? This cooking oil helps in stopping the movements of insects in case they were attacking our plant. So we spray up to down, then we come to the leaves, we sprayed the flowers earlier, then we were seeing the thing, we've tried it and it is working for us, then we said I think we need to share it with our viewers. So this is how we do it, it is very cheap, is it accessible anywhere? Many homes you have cooking oil. I know that. And besides cooking oil, you use garlic in your daily cooking. Uh, this rabbit urine can be accessed from farmers who keep rabbits on large scale. Then you spray your tomatoes. At the end of the day, you'll have your organic food. Very safe. Safe for everybody to consume. This is how we do it. At the end of the day, you'll have health food that is really one good thing with organic farming thank you for viewing these videos wherever we submit them thank you for loving us we've got a lot of messages from you our viewers please keep it up i need you to create very many hunger free communities without you we are nothing we cannot do much but after confirming to us that you need these videos some people go ahead and even call me christine we haven't seen a video for this week please thank you for doing that i really salute you for that I love you guys. Keep watching these videos. You motivate me to bring you more daily. Above all, I think I need to tell you. May the good Lord bless you all. See you.